There's a lot of ways to, to define a goal. I mean, but I'm not really into the platitudes. I don't like to talk about uh, unity or, or just things that are just innocuous in nature. Uh, as chair of this board, I came into this position with three specific goals. Uh, the first goal was uh, transit-oriented development. We have found here unique in Salt Lake County that we live in a valley. Uh, population, we're one of the fastest growing states in America, and so we can kind of predict where uh, that population is going to occur. And really, the estimates of population in the Salt Lake Valley um, uh, will make getting around goods and services, being able to be delivered, of the economy to thrive, very challenging. So high density uh, development around public infrastructure like train stations uh, and uh, using mass transit is not only a, it's not a luxury in, in, our, in our state, it's a necessity, but it takes people looking forward to what the world's going to look like in 2040. So transit-oriented development uh, is a critical goal that, we, that I hold as a chair and that we've been able to further as a board. Uh, this doesn't mean that we at UTA can draw pretty pictures on other people's land. This means that we have to engage stakeholders, cities, counties, businesses. Um, everybody is involved in this and this has to be a collaborative effort and one that I think we've, we've moved the rock up the hill since uh, I've become chair. So that TOD, Transit Oriented Development, was one specific goal. Second goal is natural gas. CNG vehicles. We have here in the state of Utah, we are an exporter of energy. We should be creating uh, partnerships with our utilities here, Questar, and looking to make sure that all of our vehicles, uh, whether they be the buses uh, or our automobiles, they should all be CNG. And we should be getting Uinta Basin jobs. They're pulling that uh, natural gas out of the ground and sending them into our buses here and creating that partnership. It also helps with our commuters. Uh, our oil prices seem to be wild in, in price and uh, often require an adjustment in fares. Uh, these kinds of partnerships uh, with our natural gas uh, partners and utility companies in the state will allow there to be more stability in our energy costs here at UTA, which will mean less impact to the riders in terms of changing fares because of changing fuel costs. So uh, natural gas, CNG vehicles is a second priority that I've had as, as chair of the board. Third is technology. Technology is growing exponentially. Uh, our way, the ways that we use or access technology to make the, uh, the, the experience for commuters better is important. Facebook, Twitter, social media, how do we get our messages out? If there's been an accident, if there's a concern, uh, even questions about our budget on an annual basis. Uh, we are finding ways, exploring ways, and actually having uh, conversations online through our social media about critical issues that commuters want to know about UTA. Uh, also, we are working on technology that will allow for one day to be apps available on your smartphones and your iPads and your different uh, your tablets and uh, to see where in real time buses and trains are coming that you can access. And so we feel that the, the future workforce is one that will be uh, technology natives. I'm a technology immigrant. I've come to technology trying to learn my way through it. But our future workforce, this will be as common as a fork and a spoon. And how does UTA accommodate the demand for the use of technology? And I'm proud of the fact that uh, we have uh, improved those, uh, those areas since I've been chair. And um, those are my three goals. Well, I've been, I've been uh, the chair of this board for just a little over a year, and in that time, we are seeing great progress made in transit-oriented development. We have issued successful requests for qualifications for developers uh, to begin uh, the development of high density and projects around train stations. Uh, we have uh, begun the journey of partnering with Questar Gas in terms of getting buses, uh, CNG. We've had the tests, we've put the salt bags on the on the buses and, and, and taken them up the mountains and the hills to see if CNG uh, compares with our diesel buses and we've had great results so we're seeing that effort move forward and uh, just uh, in October we won a national award as a transit authority for our progress and our, our presence on Twitter and Facebook and social media. We, uh, we, are, we have been recognized nationally for that effort and that's effort's a new effort. That's something that's new uh, for us and uh, we're already seeing the, uh, the accolades or the recognition for that effort and I'm proud of UTA for what they've done, uh, what this organization has done in embracing these goals 
and, uh, and we can see tangible progress in every one of those. It's working with great people. I mean, you, you always want to associate yourself with, with uh, the best of the best. And uh, I, I arrived at UTA as a board member as a bit of a critic of mass transit and someone who thought that maybe the taxpayer dollar might be better otherwise spent, potentially. Uh, worried that maybe it was an over a subsidized effort. Um, but what I have discovered in working with my colleagues on the board who have incredible skill sets and come from great backgrounds of elected service and, and professional leadership, as well as our general manager, an engineer who's been on the ground for as long as anyone can remember UTA even being a transit authority. I mean, we have on the ground guys. We have the best of the best in engineers. Uh, we lead this country in uh, capital development projects that are that are done ahead of schedule, under budget, uh, that's unique. And uh, I was quickly able to recognize uh, the, the high standard of leadership and, uh, and quality of individuals here at UTA. And it's been that camaraderie and working with people like that that have, has brought me the greatest amount of joy. A board is, a board is inherently challenging in that uh, we are the the Board of Trustees set to, to govern this uh, large organization and we're part-time. This is something that we visit this building uh, a number of times over the course of the month, but we're not here every day. Uh, this isn't our eight, nine to five job. And so the, the biggest challenge I have as a, as a board member and as chair of the board is really trying to integrate the perspective and the concerns I have with the, the people that are on the ground every single day because you have to give uh, credit where credit is due. They have a front row seat every single day to some of the things that I might see uh, less often. And, uh, and so you have to balance that. You have to balance your, your charge as a board member with the everyday practical experience of your executive team and uh, the employees here at Transit Authority. And weighing that is, is truly a great challenge.